this stuff down. People will start showing up. Alright, hey folks, welcome. Uh, just gonna be uh, sharing the stream real quick and then I'll start. of the characters while I do this. and then move it over. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to re-enable the the uh, double manliest points cheat too. Yeah, me too. They're <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. Um, when when I was growing up with this game, I used to play like every single summer. I had like this uh you know kind of like the tradition I have now with Super Mario Sunshine, but uh, this game I always associate with summer as well. Um, so. And a lot of times, you know, and I'd be playing the game like upstairs in my room and I'd often be alone during the day because my, my uh, parents were at work and whatnot, or actually my, my mom, because it was at my mom's house, but uh, my mom would be at work and I'd be uh, home alone for a little bit. Um, and so, but sometimes I'd have to pause the game and go down and get a snack or something to eat or something like that. And sometimes I'd get distracted too while I'm downstairs. And... I just remember, like, faintly hearing these voices, like, these characters talking, and because of that, 
That's just what I think. That's just one of the many summer memories I have. Like, memories during s summer school breaks is, uh, you know, just hearing these voices, like, upstairs while downstairs doing something, what, what not. So, just one of those nostalgic things for me. Not to mention, I always played the game without music back in the day, too. So, just want to share this to YouTube real quick, and then I'll get started. Yeah, might as well share it to Facebook as well, even though nobody really pays attention to me on there. I don't get any interactions on my Facebook posts anymore, but whatever, I'll do it anyways. Okay, uh, so last time we left off, we were at the Bubble Bowling Baby Hunt, and next we're going to be doing No Weenie Parking uh, anytime today. Um, I don't know how many uh, Goofy Goober tokens I'll need for the um, Sponge Bowl, but I might have to backtrack in this live stream to get some, so I can get the Sponge Bowl. I can't remember how much you need. Can't tell that. How many do I have right now? Okay, I have 19 right now. I think you need 20 or 25. It's one of the two to get the thing. So, yeah, but first let's uh, maybe get those uh, cheat codes real quick to for the double families points. Not that it matters that much. Honestly, I don't really need it because like I'm not. I'm, I got. I already got like three upgrades in reserve that I'm not going to use because I not. I'm not getting- I'm getting the health last. So maybe I, I don't really need the cheat code, honestly. Yeah, I've already got enough uh, upgrade points in reserve to get the rest of the moves upgrades. So honestly, it's kind of pointless for me to do that. So we'll just go ahead and go straight to No Weenie Park anytime now. Get things started here. Get us, get us on the roll today. <sighs> the gates are locked. You'll have to find all the keys to unlock the gates. And the keys are shiny this time. Shiny keys in me, or what? I was trying to make a Chip Skylark shiny teeth in me reference, but it came out kind of weird. <laughs> the gates out to the main road are locked. Locked? Then how can we drive out? Follow the paddy wagon and bust through the gates! Sorry, Patrick. For that, we need a super crabby paddy deluxe. You can unlock the gates if you find all the keys around the track. Alright, time to find the key we've lost. Find the keys we've lost, more like. So a lot of the Spongebob games, apparently, like, even the 6th generation ones, like the earlier ones, they run at 60 FPS, which I did not know at all. Um, but again, unfortunately, it's not going to show up on the stream because I'm using my Dazzle capture card, which only records at 30 FPS, so... Even though the live stream itself is at 60. Oh, I forgot to take the shortcut. It's going to lead me to one of the treasure chests. There's uh, one of our keys. It'd be really cool if I could repeat that glitch that I had uh, from the Let's Play. Because uh, the most memorable thing that happened during this, uh, during when I was going through No Weedy, this uh, level in uh, Let's Play, was that I had a glitch happen on, I think, at the last level or something. It was on one of the time trials. So because of that, I failed the time trial, but it was still pretty amusing. Wow, I skipped all three of the treasure chests on the first run. But, that's what multiple laps are for. You really should get those treasure chests on the first, uh, go around with all these, uh, you know, with the slides and the, and the paddy wagon levels, because 
you know, you're gonna have time limits on every other, or or other or other sub such restrictions on subsequent runs of the level. Alright, let's get that shortcut. Which I can't see because my TV is too dark, or the PS2 is dark, I, I don't know. those Malleus points. I don't know why, but I do. I don't really need them, but whatever. Yeah, I'm sure it's just down here. I guess before we go to, if uh, I can see if I have one of the uh, SpongeBob costumes and we can activate that for the uh, now that we're men level. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be doing that today. I have no idea what Patrick just said. Oh yeah, also since the last stream I found out that uh, the Xbox version apparently supports widescreen. I did not know that either. So, that'll be good to know for the uh, Let's Play. I'll see if it's, if maybe it's like a, a mode you have to activate in the menu or something. I'm not sure. Because I don't know if it supports widescreen like uh, immediately when you play it. I, I don't know for sure. the rest of this now. Do I have all the trash chests now? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, there's only two of them. That's right. Yeah, okay. Couldn't we just, like, climb over the gates instead and, like, open them from the other side? That probably would be a better idea. Because surely you can open it from the other side. anymore. I always forget that. <sighs> Boss time! Patrick, we've got to start acting like men. SpongeBob. You'll have to start acting like men, SpongeBob. I'll be right back. I don't think sponges even have genders. Or starfish, for that matter. Chocolate. I could be wrong though. I'll have two chocolate banana splits with sprinkled fairy stars and goober beans with extra sauce, please. Uh, you can let go now. I said let go, please. <laughs> what kind of old lady are you? I'm gonna turn down my TV. Does the PS2 version have a rumble? Or did I deactivate it last time? Oh yeah, that's right, it does, and I... Either it's deactivated by default, or I already... Or it saved me disabling it last stream, I don't know. I don't remember. Hope everyone's doing all right. It's been uh, getting pretty co mighty cold over here. At least cold for what I'm used to, because you know after a long spring and summer, it's been it's, uh, quite warm over here. It's it didn't get as hot as like it did over in the on the west coast, but still over it's been it, it was a pretty average summer for us actually over here. Those who don't know, I live in Wisconsin, by the way. 
Wait, it's right. I can actually hit the lady from a uh, above. Above. You can actually hit the the lady from above ground. Like if you hit the like where she's gonna be spawning. So I always just do that before when she's doing the spinning attack. So you can just get her before then. not look very good but then again I guess uh, my guess is that uh, Heavy Iron Studios was kind of rushed to get this game out in time so it's it's understandable that the artwork isn't as good as the movie except for when they use like actual screenshots from the movie This game probably could have been like a lot better, like if they had, if they were able to use uh, the actual in-game animation for these cutscenes. Not that it's bad, but still. Honestly, this game is more like an acquired taste. Like your first time playing it, you're gonna have a rough time, especially if you're trying to go for hundred percent. But once you get used to 100% in the game, then it's it's pretty fun, I'd say. Almost on par with, with uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's interesting to see, like, the bigger YouTubers reviewing these games. Like, uh, Ant Dude and Some Call Me Johnny. I'm glad, this, glad these games are getting some uh, attention from bigger YouTubers. Not me. Well, they are getting attention from me, but I'm not a big YouTuber. The only way across the trench is along the bottom. But you have to get there first by traveling down the slot. Past those sea monsters. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, hopefully it's 20 for the sponge bowl. But so far, I've only gotten the Goofy Goober tokens from the Sandwich Drive 101. I haven't, I didn't get the ones from Sam, uh, from the Rub a Dub Dub. Oh yeah, I already skipped the first shortcut. I'm gonna have to remember where all the all the those crazy shortcuts are in order to beat the Macho time on this. Yeah, on my TV screen, the the crates are too... The Plan Z supply crates are too dark. I can't see them in the darkness. This isn't just your average everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. You can pretty much always skip this part, pretty much. Say what you will about the slide levels, at least the sliding in this game is easier than it was in Battle for Key Bottom. I mean, not when you have to beat the times, that is. Well, for some ex with, with, with some exceptions. Although I will say I'm not as big a fan as the slide music in this game as, as uh, Battle. Because, uh... I guess because I have to listen to this music so much, so I get sick of it after a while. Then again, the the one in a uh, battle gets uh, kind of overused a bit too. Of like, if, especially if you're trying to go for all the Sandmen in uh, on Sand Mountain. You know, I gotta be honest. Like, I, I kind of almost wish that I actually streamed a uh, Rehydrate instead of uh, the original PS2 version. Because uh, I'm sure that probably would have been a lot more interesting to start uh, live streaming with. But then again, uh, I'm not quite ready yet to do widescreen games on here. So I don't have uh, my green screen yet. I was 
look into I mean I'm gonna be getting a, a green screen actually for doing widescreen games because I have a specific setup in mind for this that work for widescreen games this is how I'm gonna do it for a standard for a four by three games but for widescreen games I was thinking I would have like a transparent have the background behind me be transparent so that way the game could be there too and probably chat have have the chat be transparent as well. I gotta be careful of it because I think I'm down to one hit. <laughs> I feel attacked. It's only two choices, SpongeBob. It's not that many. Yeah, I got the level pretty much memorized entirely. I wish you could jump straight down there. Okay, well, it's obviously me pointing at it, it's not going to do anything, but I wish you could jump straight down there. That'd be a good shortcut. There's probably... I, I'm i willing to bet that there's probably a way to disable Hans in this game as well. But I haven't figured it out. I should probably check and see if there's any live streams of this game and see if they did that. Actually, real quick, before we end this, let's uh, activate some uh, extras. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, yeah, Sponge, Mermaid Man, SpongeBob, Long Bucket Head Antennas, New Targeting Hands, and Bucket Head Antenna Fountain, yeah. Of course, we're not going to have Bucket Heads in the next level, but uh, in the yeah falling levels, there will be. And then just like that, we teleport back up to the top to talk to Man Mindy. It's just so nice to be sitting at home again. <sighs> Work is hell, let me tell you. Backtrack today. There's no bucket heads here, though. Once again, I feel attacked. Alright, so go ahead and activate our... Oh, whoopsie. I want to activate the Sponge Bowl upgrade. Alright. Time for some bowling action. Having fun up there, Patrick? Or down there now. Let's see. 
Yeah, someone was asking uh, on the comments of my YouTube posts, like, when I was going to post uh, the highlights of these streams. It's like, I don't know, you know, my idea of highlights might not be the same as someone else, so I don't know. I know somebody was uh, sharing clips of my live stream here on Twitch, and thank you for that, but uh, it's like, I I mean, I, beside tho besides those two, I can't really... I don't know what would classify as a uh, uh, highlights. Just me playing the game, you know. Oh, whoopsie! Wasn't paying attention. Other than those glitches, I really wouldn't have much to share, honestly. I mean, like, just I just post the full things on YouTube. So it's not like people can't see them. Here, we're gonna have a th yeah it's like we're getting another up another upgrade up a point right after we just upgraded the sponge bowl so once again we're gonna be at three again and I only have the last two moves of SpongeBob Patrick to upgrade yeah might as well get rid of these guys stupid foggers I can't believe I went this long without knowing about the widescreen function of the Xbox version of this game. It doesn't surprise me though, because the Xbox is still it's a it's quite the it's the big powerhouse of that generation. I wonder if you could play the Xbox version on a Xbox Series X. Actually, I don't think you can. Because I've seen the full list of uh. Uh, Xbox games you can play on the X on the Series X, and uh, unfortunately there are no SpongeBob games on there, which sucks. But whatever. Maybe, or maybe I. It's been a while since I checked. Oh, that's why you can't sneak. You to... Okay. Now for the ballerina, it's gonna have uh, Planktopolis our enemies in it. Oh, we'll get to see the buckethead stuff. The fountains and the Yeah, we got the fountains. I didn't I, I didn't even use these uh, extras in the Oh, oh, whoopsie. Uh-oh. I was going to say I did not use I was going to say the the foggers weren't uh, expelling their breath there. That happens sometimes. It's like a glitch where sometimes the foggers won't have their like they, they won't get their their gas won't come out, and they'll, so they'll be harmless to you. It's happened to me a couple times on the GameCube version. Great, now even with the Macho Spin, they take two hits. But yeah, as I was going to say, um, I never used these extras in the original GameCube Let's Play. the name of these enemies. I'm gonna have to look them up after this real quick. The only enemy name I remember is Fogger, but I don't remember the name of that uh, the one that shoots you from uh, far away. The long range enemy. Oh! Sh of course I died. Well, this is where it gets challenging having only three Krabby, three Krabby Patties. But this is what I asked for. Ah! I always hit their reflect their attacks like way too late. Because they go so fast. I probably already said this like in a previous stream, but like imagine if you were a fogger, like if you just like if your attack was to run up to somebody and breathe on them, like <sighs> like that would just be the stupidest thing ever. Like just ma imagine a real life fogger, essentially. Okay, I really need to heal up. 
I'm not quite as confident as I look on screen there. Hey, thanks for protecting me from the shots there. Shots fired. I remember the very first time I ever did this combat arena challenge, and I got to the the uh, third wave. I had no idea what to do. I could not. I could not like. Uh, I I just couldn't finish this. I don't know if maybe I just did, I just never got the like it took me a while to up, start upgrading the moves or something because I was very young and didn't know what I was doing, but I could not beat the third wave of this challenge, and not just because I can not necessarily because I couldn't defeat the enemies, but because uh, I could not I didn't know how to defeat the particular enemy we're gonna be seeing. Because by this point, you're not gonna have the exact move that you're supposed to in order to defeat uh, the uh, enemy that we're about to see. Crybaby, thank you. Jeez, if I was to die, seriously, Wall is waiting for the crybaby to come to me. That macho spin move is gonna be very handy during this. Jeez, enemies are good, but I'm good, dur, or not. Crabby pay. Just one more crabby pity. <sighs> Seriously? Come on, thank you. At least you have infinite cry pies, essentially. What is that over there? Anybody? Yeah, yeah, that's showing up on stream too. Like, what is that? What the hell is that? It's like a weird circle there. It's like a... I don't know how to describe it, but... It looks really weird. I guess there's your stream highlight, YouTube. I don't know. Something like that. Anyways, yes, we have uh, Merv. This is uh, not the first time we're supposed to see Merv. In fact, actually, we're not going to see Merv for a couple more... We're not going to see Merv until the very last platforming level. But, uh, yeah, you technically don't have the main means of, you're supposed to use to defeat uh, Merv quite yet, but if you have your Macho Spin move, then you can defeat Merv. By deflecting those missiles at him. But uh, it's better to just wait until you have uh, less enemies, that way, because if you just defeat, if you defeat Merv, it's just going to respawn, no matter how many times you defeat it, so you gotta just, it's better to wait until you're at the end. Oh boy. Dodge for a bit. Seriously, what the hell is that circle there? I'll have to see if I can, it's something I can interact with later. Like if I can hit it with a sponge bowl and that'll do something? I don't know. So much reflecting going on. <sighs> oh, jeez. Almost dead. <laughs> this is hard, I will say. It's a, it's a tough combat arena challenge. Frame rate's like really low, so it's hard to keep up with the uh, attacks. That's what we'll do. We'll blame it on the frame rate. There you go. Alright, just me and you, Merv. There we go. Dolps! And I can't act interact with the circle because, well, it's over.
and for some reason they explode twice. Apparently, this game proves that you can't explode twice. Let's see if you're an Emmy spawner or something. Uh, not a lot of viewers. I've got two people max, so... I don't know. I still might play for two hours, but if nobody's gonna watch, then there's no point in me going on, honestly. I do have another idea in mind for uh, times to live stream, but uh, it's... It's not the best option for for me, but it might be something I have to do in, in order to have the best uh, chance at viewership. I was thinking of doing like a Saturdays at like six to eight p.m. Central. The only problem, it, and the thing is, I wouldn't have I wouldn't be at work at that time. But my concern with streaming at that time is that I'm supposed as I'm, that's when I'm supposed to be sleeping. So I don't know if it's if I should do that or not, but it might be the only way I can get a decent viewership on these streams, make it worth doing them. Or again, there's also the possibility of me switching over to YouTube. People have been bugging me about uh, bringing my stream highlights over there, so I don't know. Let me go ahead and do this real quick just to get the manliest points ahead of time. Fun to have the thing go ahead of me and take and destroy the thing. It's just a. I don't know, because why not? That's my motto, I guess. That wasn't fair. I guess it was. I guess I kind of asked for that. I can't tell if the one viewer is, uh, like, an actual person or if it's just me, because, uh, I do have the stream up for a preview on Twitch, so it might just be, that one viewer might actually be me, so, I don't know. When you're the only, per the only person watching your own streams, how sad. Time for the bungee. How would you even vacuum up manliness? Oh well. Easy enough. Yeah, I forgot. I'm like half asleep anyways. Boy, these enemies while I'm doing that. I'm 
just don't play, SpongeBob. You just let it go. Seriously? Damn. Seriously? Damn. Knock it off. Fun there. <laughs> Pay attention to what I'm doing here before I look over there. Okay. Yeah, if I only have one viewer, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop at one hour. I apologize. It's just not worth it for me to play if no one's gonna watch. I apologize to that one person. I'm so sorry. That's why I gotta. Hey, that's where I need to get the spawner out of the way. There we go. I just don't see the point of doing a live stream if nobody's watching, you know? I mean, you, you, do a po you do a live stream so that people watch, but so... Yeah, if nobody's gonna watch, there's no reason for me to continue. So we'll stop at... Likely when I get to the end of this level, actually, because that's probably where it's gonna line up. Maybe in the afterlife, Patrick, if there is one. Okay, so I need to... I remember, like, which, uh... That's why you take it right here in order to get to the spawner. You got all those manliest points. Turn this one.
could not even see that platform there. Hey, we got someone here. Welcome. Uh, I might be ending this stream soon if uh, there's not a lot of people. Like, if I don't get at least, at least a couple more people, like just two more, and I'll continue. But uh, otherwise, I'm probably going to stop at an hour. I just don't see any point in doing a live stream if nobody's going to watch. I, I figured Sunday morning is probably the best the best possible time I can live stream, but uh, yeah, Saturday evenings are just not easy because I, I that's when I work. All right, time for the battle arena. In level battle arena, that is. In level battle arena. Yeah, I just don't really have a, uh, much else going on besides the uh, all the usual crap, essentially. I mean, like, a, yeah, I need to get back to working on those uh, projects of mine. I got the Simpsons Hit Run, uh, Met Metro Prime Trilogy. I still got to just got to edit the episodes for that because it's already recorded, but. Uh, um, Just whatever else. Oh yeah, Zelda Skyward Sword. Oh yeah, sorry, so I get to the top. Whoops. Another upgrade. Not surprising since I got the all those melee points from the spawner. And then this. I wonder if I can get the spawner. Ah, oh, not quite. Yeah. Yeah, it's better to just have it explode premature right here. That's what he said. Or they said in my case. Well, we got a couple more challenges left. We got the uh, floating block challenge, I do believe. Oh, and also Patrick's uh, thing where you have to go swing in, that's right. Frozen Lava Lake Desert. Well, that's the one we can't do yet because we need the throw ability, which we get to in the next level. That's probably where I need 25. So we should be good to get that as well. This one's not that difficult. I believe this is the one where you have the treasure chest, too. So we gotta look out for that. But then I'm gonna forget where it is. I think no one's watching, so I'm just gonna end it as soon as we get to after we get these couple challenges. That's fine. I'm just... who would want to watch me, anyways? Did I get the? Okay, yeah. I would have gone if we'd if I passed it already. Okay. 
No, it's over here, isn't it? The, yeah, the treasure chest. It's right, yeah. Would it be lonely out here all alone? We should have said. All right. Oh, ah, dang it. Oh well. All right, one more challenge, then we'll end it here. So we need to, yeah, that's right, just go bouncing, that's it. Oh, it's gonna be Patrick though, duh. SpongeBob needs to get that one. I don't think it matters, but just be safe. I don't, because, uh, yeah. Plankton is using those televisions to brainwash unsuspecting ocean creatures. You must destroy those televisions. All right, that's what no end on. So, um, yeah, uh, this has been uh, the October 17th live stream. I'm going to end it here since nobody's watching. So, uh, yeah, um, let me watch this on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I will, yeah, be streaming again next week. Uh, possibly on YouTube. We'll try a lot. I'll, I might try it on YouTube. See if it, see if more people will watch then. But uh, yeah, otherwise, later, folks. Bye.